guys, you might feel like I'm just in some lousy, useless bush, <laughs> but I'm not. I'm actually in a garden, guys. Yeah, the the vegetable that I'm at the garden plucking looks like this. This is called bo. I'm pretty sure most of you have seen because I I sometimes cooked. I think there was a video that I made when I was cooking this and mixed it with eggs. Meanwhile, if you did not watch that video, please go ahead and watch. Check for it through the videos. You're also going to get it. So, guys, this is bo, one of the most eaten vegetable in my tribe in my clan specifically i don't it's like the most treasured you understand yeah so that is it guys and then this is a winner one in my language it's odero it's also one of the most um valued like like you'll get it in every actually kitchen meanwhile so we use it for winnowing sorting chopping like it does a lot guys so I'm going to show you something today. Um, this is bo. I'm going to show you how to preserve this because there is a way we preserve it, especially when it's at this stage. This is almost um getting out of like when it's no longer softer, when you cannot prepare it fresh like last time I did. There is a way we preserve it and keep it for dry season because it's a plant that grows majorly in the uh, rainy season only. So there is a way we keep it for the dry season, guys. And that is what I'm going to do today for you guys because I want you to know how we do this. Ah, oh, please come and we pluck it already. <laughs> So yes guys, I'm going to pluck off the leaves from the stem as usual. Meanwhile, to surprise you, it's even going to go through fire, you know, but still it's going to be preserved. So, whew, you don't want to miss this guys, it is a very interesting thing and it's a never seen before thing, I'm pretty pretty sure about it. So guys, watch this to the end. I'm already plucking it off the leaves because we only preserve the leaves and not the stem. So I'm going to pluck this and keep them there. Okay, this is just water. Um, I want to wash the vegetable. I finished to pluck it off the stem. So because it has some soil particles, I'm going to wash it.
going to give it time to dry because this one when we are putting it on fire to put it down with some little water so the very water which i've used for washing is going to do the job so right away let me set the fire as it waits for me here Like I told you, this thing does not need a lot of fire, so this fire is just enough. I don't need it so hot. I'm just going to put it straight on fire, and all I'm going to add is just this is salt. Very weird, right? <laughs> I know. So guys as you know salt is a very good preservative uh, we all know that from science <laughs> and I, I know some little science meanwhile <laughs> so that is the reason i'm adding the salt guys it's just to preserve it because i told you this vegetable is preserved this way so after adding this this way it stays fresh forever it does not get spoiled meanwhile if you make this better you can keep it even for i don't know for months even for a year and you can still eat it so this is how we do it guys to prepare for dry season because for us when dry season hits it hits terribly like terribly we don't have food completely it's always a struggle to get food guys so this is one of the means we survive in dry season guys So guys, as you can see, in fact, let me just carry it off because the smoke might make you not to see well. But basically, this is how it looks like. It is ready. So guys, I'm going to put it off into the window right here. At this point, you don't need to scatter it because I don't want it to dry. I, I don't want the uh, wind to pass through it so it dries off. So I'm going to leave it to cool a bit, but not while well scattered. You leave it to gather like this. You gather it, huh? and actually, um, let me do a hack. <laughs> you just put water, cold water. So you dip your hands in cold water because it is hot remember so you dip your hands in cold water let me put in some bits i don't want to put some more and then you keep doing this
here we, we go guys just have a look what was a lead is now looking like a thread if you can have a look at this you remember it was looking like this but apparently it's looking like this so guys this is how we do it so after doing it like this we spread it and leave it under the sun to dry and you make sure it is completely dry and if it does not dry in one day you put it back again the next day to dry until it is like very in fact crispy dry you understand what i'm saying so guys let's take it to dry under the sun As you can see the sun is already sloping. So I'm going to put it at this angle just to make sure that it is direct with the sun, yeah? Because I want it to get direct sun heat. Meanwhile, as it is drying, you can also eat this. You know, I added salt if you can remember. So there is that salty, nice taste that comes out such you know. And remember it's fresh so it's actually very healthy as well you can also eat it like this though you might not eat much yeah but it's healthy to eat this as well yeah so guys this is just how we do it meanwhile let me just show you how the final product is going to look like so because i'm not going to wait for that one to dry and then i want to show you this video so fast so guys this is just how it's supposed to look like after drying you can actually i don't know if you're able to like this so this is how much dryness it should get you can see it's almost turning into powder there's also a specific sauce we make by the by make like you squeeze it and then make it as powder guys so this is just how it's supposed to look meanwhile guys this is how we survive here in the dry season because there can be a lot of dr like dryness that we don't have been if you don't have a borehole nearby it's already a problem even drinking water Food is an issue literally very many people die out of hunger in the dry season guys so it takes a, a, a high brain to make such a thing because if not you might just die out of hunger guys otherwise sometimes the dry season hits us really 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 bad that one mm -hmm. i don't like it otherwise guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it please do you guys do something like this meanwhile please go ahead and also let me know in the comment section yeah if you guys have any way of preserving your vegetable for the dry season guys let me know in the comment section otherwise if it's the first time please go ahead and subscribe already i mean continue sharing continue commenting let's grow the channel bigger and better guys thanks a lot for watching for now